Is AI racist? The use of AI facial recognition in law enforcement raises several concerns and risks, leading to debates about its ethical implications. Artificial intelligence, or AI, facial recognition is a technology that uses computer algorithms and machine learning techniques to identify and verify individuals based on their facial features. It involves analyzing and comparing shapes, patterns, unique characteristics of a person's face to match it against a database of known faces. AI facial recognition has various applications, including the security and surveillance, uh, the access control, authentication for mobile devices, and even the social media tagging. It also raises concerns related to privacy, security, and the potential of misuse. As a result, there are ongoing discussions and debates about the ethical implications and proper regulation of facial recognition technology. I recently heard a very gruesome story on the news where a black man was wrongfully accused and arrested due to an AI facial recognition software error. Warning. Graphic content. A 61-year-old grandfather has filed a lawsuit against Sunglass Hut and Macy's over claims he was wrongfully arrested and jailed. Now, that was based on facial recognition software that identified Harvey Murphy Jr. as the man who robbed the Houston Sunglass Hut. He also claims that he was sexually assaulted while booked inside of the Harris County Jail, leaving him with lasting injuries. The Harris County District Attorney's Office later agreed that Murphy was not involved in the store's robbery. Grandfather is suing the parent companies of Macy's and Sunglass Hut after he was wrongfully accused and arrested for robbery in Harris County in 2022. But that's just where the story begins. Fox 26's Anthony Antoine spoke with the victim's lawyer. He joins us now with those details. Anthony. Well, faulty facial recognition software is at the heart of this case. 61-year-old Harvey Eugene Murphy Jr., a grandfather, was taken to jail because the technology pinned him as the primary suspect for that robbery. But according to the lawsuit, he was taken to jail, and in a matter of hours, he was beaten, raped, and then released. And now, years later, he's suing. On January 22, 2022, this sunglass hut on West Gray in Houston was robbed by two armed men. The employees inside were threatened at gunpoint and taken to the back of the store while the suspect stole money and several pairs of glasses. Sunglass hut may not have access to facial recognition software. And so the documents show that they took the video to Macy's who then used his features to determine that he was the one that had robbed the Macy's before and identified him as Mr. Murphy and told Sunglass Hut. Daniel Duco, the lawyer for 61-year-old Harvey Eugene Murphy Jr., who is from Houston, says his client was in California at the time of the crime. Murphy Jr. eventually moved back to Texas for work in October of 2023. And he goes to the DMV to get his driver's license renewed. And the police officer comes from around the counter and puts handcuffs on him and arrests him. And that was the beginning of a life-changing ordeal. Murphy was taken to jail for multiple felony warrants for the robbery at the Sunglass Hut. Court documents suggest the store employee was also prepped by the company and identified Murphy as the robber, with facial recognition playing a key role in his arrest. Murphy gave officers his alibi. It checked out, and he was told he would be released. While he was being held in jail, he was going to use the restroom he was beaten sexually assaulted raped because of the nature of the alleged crime lawyers say murphy jr was put alongside violent criminals three men followed him to the bathroom and raped him with a shank pressed against his neck he was released and the case was dismissed he is now suing the parent company of sunglass hut and macy's for using the facial recognition software that led to his false imprisonment the dangers of using this technology is also outlined in court documents. I know for a fact that studies have shown that African Americans have a high rate of false positives based on facial recognition software. I also know comparing people who are older with pictures of them of other people and younger 
So age gaps have a very high rate, up to 90% of false positives. According to his lawyer, Murphy has long-standing physical and psychological injuries, and he is now coming forward to raise awareness and hopefully prevent this from happening to someone else. Now, I want to note here the Houston Police Department and Harris County is not named in this lawsuit. It's a long list of people here, and they're not one of them. Murphy's attorney also believes the parent companies from Macy's and Sunglass Hut are the real people at fault here, and they are suing for $10 million. We did our due diligence. I reached out to Macy's. They say, quote, we have no comment on pending litigation. Did anyone hear anything about an investigation by our human investigators? An interview asking him about his whereabouts and activities on that day, anything. So just a machine said it was him. A store employee was prepped and he was arrested, which led to him being put into a community with violent criminals where he was assaulted. Facial recognition systems may exhibit bias. These biases can lead to misidentification is proportionately affecting certain demographic groups such as black people. Inaccurate results can have serious consequences including wrongful arrest and violation of individuals' rights. Now this is biometric data. We use biometric data, our thumbprint to unlock our phones or our laptops if you have them set up that way, but we had to give it consent in order to use that feature. It's the same with the facial recognition feature. You have to give consent. Mr. Murphy may not have given consent for his biometric data to be used in this way, or did he? This lack of consent raises ethical questions about the right to privacy and control over personal information. I'm sure his attorney will bring this up in court as well. Lack of transparency and accountability in the development and the deployment of these systems raises concerns about fairness and due process. So what do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Drop your comments in the chat or comment section. Is AI racist? I'll see you on the next one. Take care. This is Gail at Night. Thank you all for watching and thank you for supporting. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe, hit the notification bell and set the bell to all.